Due to the relentless promotion of germ theory, microbes have been blamed as causing all kinds of diseases. The focus is often on bacteria and imagined viruses, but mold is also viewed as another threat to our health. Many people believe that mold can cause disease when actually they are missing something crucial that is right in front of their eyes. As a doctor, I used to see a lot of patients who were negatively affected by living or working in water damaged or damp buildings. And all around the world, people are suffering with symptoms such as brain fog, headaches, tiredness, joint aches, numbness and tingling, red eyes or light sensitivity, asthma and sinus problems, diarrhea, nausea, a metallic taste in the mouth, night sweats, excessive thirst or increased urination. They are searching for answers, but end up getting unnecessary and costly treatments from the medical system, which doesn't know what the problem is. Would you believe that there is no scientific evidence proving that mold causes disease at all? Our friend Daniel Reuters from the Humanly podcast has performed a detailed investigation into this topic and is about to reveal some startling truths about the houses many of us live in. The findings will be presented in a 90-minute webinar explaining why it's not the mold that is causing the disease. Daniel will then outline the practical steps to help with resolving so-called mold-related illnesses. You won't want to miss this eye-opening webinar that could help you or a loved one. It is scheduled for Wednesday the 24th of August at 6pm Australian Eastern Standard Time and there will also be an extra segment for questions and answers at the end of the presentation. If you want to join this one-time exclusive event and help support my channel at the same time, then please click the link in the video description. If you check out with coupon code Dr. Bailey, you'll get 10% off the full ticket price as a bonus. The discount code can be found in the description and I'll also pin the details in the top comment. Thank you for your support and I hope you can join the webinar.